standard deviation for the set S. Statement 1 gives very little information. It only talks about the greatest term, so not sufficient. Look at the second one. All 15 observations are consecutive even integers. So if the smallest term is x, the respective terms are going to be x plus 2, x plus 4 until x plus 28. These are going to be the 15 terms. The average is going to be the 8th term, x plus 14. And when you take the differences, all the x's will cancel. You will be able to find the standard deviation. The value of x is not important. Whether the terms are 2, 4, 6 until 30 or 1002, 1004 until 1030, the standard deviation for the two are going to be the same because number of terms is the same in the two set and the common difference is the same. We don't have to find the standard deviation that is not needed. The point is that no matter what the terms are, the standard deviation will be a unique value all the time. Statement 2 will lead us to a unique answer, so it is going to be sufficient. B is the right answer. A very good question this. This clarifies a very important property of standard deviations. Thank <laughs> you.